75 years ago today, KTLA began its first commercial television broadcast. It would be the first commercial station in Los Angeles and the first TV station to broadcast west of the Mississippi. There was one man at the helm, legendary engineer and station manager Klaus Landsberg. Today we're celebrating our birthday by remembering Klaus. And joining us live this morning is his son, producer Cleve Landsberg. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good on this anniversary day for us. Thanks for joining us. So your father, he came to us, uh, came to the U.S. rather, at the age of 18 from Berlin, and he was already a technical innovator um, when he joined what was originally called W6YZ in 1941. What do you know about the early days? Well, you were close. It was W6XYZ. XYZ. But but no no problem. And, and uh, I think he came over just a little bit after, more like about 21, 20, uh, because he was there involved uh, with the telecasting of the 1936 Olympics, which was very experimental at the time. Um, <clears throat> and he was born in 1916, so he had to be 20 then. Um, but yeah, uh, he came uh, with the um, uh, parts for a couple of cameras and the suitcases. He had been working for RCA um, and for Dumont and was uh, involved with the um, uh, demonstration at the 39 World's Fair of Television with NBC. So uh, finally, uh, Paramount tapped him to come out and bring all the stuff and create a television station for them. It's just incredible to, to hear these stories as we you know, try to continue the legacy of the, the work of your dad. Uh, can you tell us how he transformed the TV landscape with many firsts? So things like he arranged live broadcasts of events like the A-bomb testing in the desert and the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin that you were just talking about. What do you know about the thinking behind his cutting-edge approach? To, I, I, don't know, I don't know much about the story, but your, your dad just seems like the smartest guy in the room. Well, he probably was, uh, but, but I'll, I'll tell you this. Uh, television was in its infancy and it was in, being invented, literally, as, as it happened. And, they, didn't, they were figuring out what to do with it. And putting on programming, uh, he had to create programming to fill the time. So he produced and directed uh, the major shows, uh, KTLA, uh, all, all the time that he was, he was still alive. Uh, and it was figuring out what to do with this new medium. He was a complete visionary, looking way, way, way off into the future about what the possibilities were. But they had to grow it up and, and uh, doing live broadcasting taking the trucks and the cameras out to do a live event was something that was in his brain that, that he pioneered and, and really uh, it pioneered electronic news gathering, if you will. ENG work, all the news stuff, and going out and covering the stories, not with film cameras necessarily, but to go out and get them live. And the immediacy of television is what, what he really threw up on the scene and, and it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, the spirit of all the people that were working with him, I mean, that was unbelievable. Uh, to me, that, that inspires me to this day. Uh, when I got to work at KTLA while I was uh, in school and I worked on the crew, pretty heavy schedule for about three years while I was at UCLA. First day on the job was Rose Parade. And um, so uh, quick, Cleve, Cleve, there, Cleve really, really quickly, is there, is there anything that we've done over maybe the past 20 years, 10 years, five years, where you say, that was my dad. My, my dad started that. Oh, God. Yeah, all the time. Every time I'm driving out to a location towards Pasadena or something like that, and I look up at Mount Wilson, and my, my dad was the one who figured Mount Wilson was the place to put a transmitter. That's why KTLA has the highest spot on Mount Wilson. So to have so, someone... Yeah. To have someone like your dad, how does he inspire you even today? Well, I'm still working at a, at a pretty hefty age here. I've been around, uh, I'm going to turn 76 in a week. And, um, and I, still, I still work a full schedule making television series right now. Um, you know, and we work crazy schedules. We're masochists. You have to love it and, and put your heart and soul into it or give it up and go do something else. I tell anybody who wants to get in this business, if you can live without doing it, don't do it. You only do it if, if you can't live without doing it. So uh, the people I got to know as a kid and worked with, who had worked with my father, 
and what you had to do. Everybody had to do everything. And it wasn't a matter of what you couldn't do. It, it's everything you can do it. It's what can you do. And the impossible, as my dad used to say, only took a little longer. So to me, um, you know, it's kind of like I refuse to fail on anything I do. If you do, you do. But you don't go in with any attitude like that at all. And those people who were part of that, that whole infancy of KTLA were a, a, an inspiration that I always think about as I go through my career now, even now. Well, it's something we're going to continue to think about. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you didn't know, Cleve, uh, our former news director, he named his dog after your dad, which I, I, I think is really cool. Klaus. <laughs> He's a German shepherd who I think is in Palm Springs right now. So keeping right. keep the tradition alive. Great meeting you. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Happy anniversary. Thank you.